represents your center square. Kathy Griffin. Let's meet her now. Kathy Griffin. <laughs> like most parents, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger gives his kids a count of three to get them under control. And he says they know he means business when he does it. How? In the right order. <laughs> um, God, I'm guessing, but I'm going to say the kids are maybe scared when he does it in German. Make your choice. Agree or disagree. Got it. Circle, select a square. Kathy Griffin. That's today's secret square. If you guess correctly, you'll win a bonus $1,000. Kathy, what is unusual about Jessica Simpson's new fragrance? <laughs> it's 40% tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I know her, and I adore her, and her new fragrance is all natural, no chemicals, all animal friendly, that whole thing. What do you say? Agree or disagree? You're correct. Your turn, Circle. With Kathy Griffin. Kathy, when a Harris poll asked people if they'd like to be famous, what did most of them say? I'm sure they said, no, I like driving my Toyota Tercel just fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I think everybody wants to be famous, but I think they lie about it. So I'm going to say that they said no. How do you want to weigh in on this? You get the square. Your turn, Circle, where... Kathy Griffin. Kath, what American city got its name from the Native American word that meant onion and skunk? Believe it or not, I know this. It's Newark. <laughs> it is. It's Newark, New Jersey. Make your choice. Agree or disagree. You got it. Where do you want to go, Circle? Kathy Griffin. In the Catholic Church, the Pope wears a white hat. Who wears a black hat? Mel Gibson? <laughs> yes, it's a controversy. <laughs> um, black hats, I think, are just priests. I'm going to go with priests. How do you want to weigh in on this? Wrong choice. Where do you want to go, sir? Kathy Griffin. Kath, in pop history, whose first number one hit was called, I Get Around? <laughs> well, that is Christina's number one excuse. <laughs> <laughs> She's dirty. All right. Um, <laughs> I Get Around is by the Beach Boys, I believe. What do you think? Yes. Where do you want to play, Circle? Melissa. Kathy Griffin. In Grimm's Tale, the Wicked Queen gave Snow White a rotten apple, a tight corset, and what other deadly thing? Hmm. This is olden time stuff. Olden times. I'm going to say a kiln. You know, like where you do pottery. How do you want to weigh in on this? Nice work. Circle your Kathy Griffin. The Colorado Supreme Court recently ruled that this part of your body can be considered a deadly weapon. What part? I would guess hands. Do you agree or do you disagree? Oh, sorry, you're wrong. Circle, pick a square. Kathy Griffin. Of the, uh, of the AA, BA, or the BS, which is the lowest college degree you can get? I thought it was a BA, but that's BS. <laughs> hey. I'm always thinking, Tom. No, I know this. It's AA is the lowest one. Agree or disagree? No. Circle's turn now. Kathy Griffin. To, to marry the Queen of England, Prince Philip had to renounce two things. One was his title. What was the other? I, uh, he had to renounce his religion. What's your choice? Sorry. It's a 
select a square. Kathy Griffin. Hey, Kath. Hey. Men's Health says one out of eight guys think they can change this if they just pray hard enough. Change what? <laughs> I'm going to say uh, a test score. What do you think? You got it. Your turn, Circle, where Kathy Griffin. According to Swedish researchers, Kath, how can humming be good for your health? Well, humming got me a really great pair of diamond earrings one time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, humming. <laughs> Actually, the, I know this. Humming can clear your sinuses. Let's have your selection. Agree or disagree? Good choice. Where do you want to play, Circle? Kathy Griffin. Which, uh, which sibling in a family does Dr. Joyce Brothers say is the worst at keeping secrets? The oldest, youngest, or middle child? I am the youngest, and I cannot keep a secret. Mm -hmm. And just based on my own family and years of them yelling at me for it, I'm just going to say the youngest. How do you want to weigh in on this? Right you are. Circle's turn now. Kathy Griffin. Kathy. You're engaged in all fives, killer, sudden death, or round the clock. What are you doing? Darts? Make your choice. Agree or disagree. You're right. Where are you going to play, Circle? Dave. Kathy Griffin. Our buddy Dr. Joyce Brothers says for husbands, this is most likely to occur either in the first five years of marriage or around the 20th anniversary. What? Um, I'm going to say gain weight. Give us your verdict. That's your square. Which square, Circle? Kathy Griffin. Kathy, a freshman at the University of Illinois, set out to finance his education by asking people across the nation for one cent each. Did it work? That sounds like something that would work. I'll say yes. Do you agree or do you disagree? You're correct. Circle, pick Kathy Griffin. <laughs> the author of How to Be a People Magnet says doing this a lot is the most surefire way of making someone fond of you. Doing what? Make eye contact with someone. Will you agree or disagree? Well done. Which square, Circle? Square now. Kathy Griffin. Kathy, a study from the University of Chicago suggests that not getting enough sleep will affect your weight. In what way? Well, if you're up all night eating, that is not going to happen. <laughs> but it feels good when you've just been dumped by some guy. Brad, don't listen. This is private. Uh, no, um, I think your weight will increase. Do you agree or do you disagree? Got it. Circle's turn now to play. Kathy Griffin. Kathy, in a poll by Woman's World, what do people say they lose most often? Virginity. I lost mine three times. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I would say people lose their keys. How do you want to weigh in on this? Circle, pick a Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Kath, this company is presumably the world's largest manufacturer of clothing, and yet not a single thing they make will fit you. Who are they? Oh, Kmart has a new Calista Flockhart line, and it is adorable. I just think she should have some more bread. All right. Um, if they want, you know, if nothing would fit you, I'm going to go with, like, doll clothes, so I will say that the company is Mattel. How do you want to weigh in on this? Good choice. Which square, Circle? Moe's a square. Kathy Griffin. The great Native American known as Sitting Bull never considered himself an Indian chief. What did he consider himself? A medicine man. Do you agree or disagree with the answer? You're right. Where do you want to play? We're Kathy Griffin. 
Hey, Kath, if you stood at the center of the earth, would you weigh more than normal or less? You said there wouldn't be science <laughs> What's going on. All right, gravity pulls you toward the earth. I'm going to assume that if you were at the center of the earth, you would weigh more. Will you agree or disagree? That's the right choice. Circle, it's your turn to play. Donna, Kathy Griffin. Cast from the Latin word for immediately, this urgent phrase is often shouted in the ER during surgery. What is it? Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I only know this from watching my hospital shows, so that's my point of reference, so keep that in mind, but I think it's stat. Do you agree or do you disagree? Do you get the square? Which square, Circle? The X. Kathy Griffin. Kathy, what is America's highest award for military valor? Is it the Silver Star, the Purple Heart, or the Congressional Medal of Honor? I'll go with the Congressional Medal of Honor. What do you say? Agree or disagree? Yes, indeed. Select a square, sir. Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Kathy, who has more fingers? Mickey Mouse or the Pillsbury Doughboy? I've dated Mickey and he's all hands. I don't know about the fingers. <laughs> um, I, uh, okay, wait, Doughboy. All right, Mickey Mouse. How do you want to weigh in on this? Where do you want to play, Circle? Kathy, in the comics, who always gets his heart broken by the little red-haired girl? Tom, it's not just in the comics. It's everywhere I go. Uh, Charlie Brown. What's your choice? Yes. Where do you want to play? $1,000. Kathy, if you're driving along and you see a sign with a picture of a car and two squiggly lines behind it, what does that mean? I think it means slippery when wet. Are they bluffing or do you agree? You got it. Where do you... Slipper was a dolphin. Mr. Yeah. Ed was a horse. Gentle Ben was what? Dating them both. <laughs> um, Gentle Ben was a bear. How do you want to weigh in on this? Good choice. The board. During World War II, where were the British crown jewels stored for safekeeping? You know, I, it's a guess, but I, I'm going to guess Fort Knox. Do you agree or disagree with the answer? No. Wrong. Circle, it's your turn to... Not exactly humble, First Lady Elizabeth Monroe, wife of James Monroe, insisted that the White House staff address her using what phrase? Uh, your Highness. Give us your verdict. Yes, indeed. Select a square, Circle Griffin. Kathy King, King William the First was called William the Conqueror because in 1066, what did he conquer? He conquered England. What's your choice? Got it. Which square? A 16th century geographer published a book of maps, and when he put a Greek titan on the cover, the name stuck. Who was the titan? Atlas. Make your choice. Agree or disagree? Yes, indeed. Circle. Kathy, in the classic fairy tale Beauty and the Beast, Beast actually mar uh, Beauty actually marries the Beast. Why? He knocked her up. <laughs> well, you know how Beauty gets. Every night's a party. Um, I think it's because I think she married him to save the life of her father. What's your choice? You don't get the score. Kath, we usually think of comets in space as big balls of fire, but at the center of a comet, you'll find dust and what other unlikely substance? I think it's oxygen. Do you think that's a bluff? Agree or disagree? Yes, you got it right. With... All right, true or false, famed socialist Karl Marx was once a correspondent for a New York newspaper. 
True or false? Uh, I'm going to say false. Are they bluffing or do you agree? That's your square. Circle. Hey, Kath, who did, yeah. uh, who did Outlaw Biker Magazine name as the first lady of the century? She's big, she's tough, she's a bad mamma jamma, and her name is Barbara Bush. Will you agree or disagree? That's the right choice. Select a square. So In the Bible, the inhabitants of Jibia were 700 men who all had what unique physical attribute? I think it's that they were all blind. Are they bluffing or do you agree? You got it. Circle's turn now. Kathy Griffin. When a well-trained horse is given the command G, it'll turn to the right. What do you say to make it turn to the left? Go left! Go left! I said left! <laughs> that was a little acting scene for you. Yeah, for good. my Star Search days. Um, <laughs> I, I think you say, I think Shay means left in horse talk. How do you feel about that answer? Your turn, Circle. Where will you go? In the book, in the book, what's the difference? Who makes decisions faster, men or women? Women. <laughs> Give us your verdict. No. Which squares? If you're on Evergreen Terrace, Kath, watching Itchy and Scratchy on television, then you're most likely in which fictional city? The city is uh, Springfield from The Simpsons. Will you agree or disagree? Well done. Where do you want to go? Kathy Griffin. True or false? India Inc. originated in India. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with the opposite because India Inc. seems too obvious to me, so I'm going to say false. What do you say? Agree or disagree? Yes. Which? Kathy, Arnold Schwarzenegger is suing a gaming company for $20 million for marketing these with his voice and likeness without his consent. What? I don't know. I just hope he gets the money. That poor guy doesn't have two dimes to rub together. <laughs> yeah, really. I am pulling for him. Uh, I, I think it would, I assume it would be a video game. Do you think that's a bluff? Agree or disagree? Are you going to Griffin? Kath, it was Oliver Wendell Holmes who wrote that free speech does not include being able to do what in a crowded movie theater? Yell, fire. Give us your verdict. You're wrong. The board is yours, Circle. The zipper was invented in 1913 for what article of clothing? The human mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was invented for boots. How do you feel about that answer? No. Pick a square, circle. What famous Britain won Mad Magazine's Alfred E. Newman lookalike contest? Prince Charles. Give us your verdict. Kathy, Charlie Sheen's prenuptial agreement reportedly states that wife Denise Richards will pocket a cool $4 million if he does what? <laughs> if he signs it. <laughs> I know what this is, and a lot of rich women are doing this, and you have a clause saying if the husband cheats, you get the cash. Give us your verdict. You're right. Circle your... The Bride's Book of Etiquette says if you're getting married for the second time, are the people who attended your first wedding expected to buy another gift? Well, it depends on what they got me the first time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you are supposed to get a gift every time. I would say yes. Will you agree or disagree? No. 
Where do you want Griffin? This movie stars marble tombstone bears the inscription, she did it the hard way. Who? The great Paul Lind. <laughs> I, I, I think it is Joan Crawford. Give us your verdict. No. With Kathy Griffin. In the classic Bruce Springsteen song, what are tramps like us born to do? Why are you asking me, Tom? It just came I, out of I'm out of that life now, baby. Uh, no, tramps like us, baby, we're born to run. Let's have your selection. Agree or disagree. You're right. Circle. Kathy, You Can't Go Home Again is the title of a famous book by whom? Tom Arnold. <laughs> I, think that, I think Tom Wolf wrote that. Do you know the answer? You get the square. Your turn, Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Kathy, imagine this. You show up at a party and are shocked to find a stranger wearing the exact same dress as you. Miss Manners instructs that you walk over to that person and say what? Excuse me, sir, but I... Because <laughs> it's a guy. If you're not going to work with me, then get out! I think Miss Manners, is, she's all about the etiquette, and I think she would want you to say something nice. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say she would want you to, uh, give the, to say to the person, you look great. Give us your verdict. Well done. Where do you want to play, sir? Kathy, it's found in beauty supply stores used on feet and is the only rock which floats. What is it? I think it's the uh, pumice stone. Give us your verdict. Yes, indeed. Select a square circle. <laughs>